So, here is one more problem on material and heat balance in iron making that is in continuation with the earlier problems on material and heat balance in iron making. So, the problem is the input and output of a blast furnace are that is iron ore, coke, limestone, pig iron and top gas. Now, remember here the amount of top gas is given per ton of iron ore, it is not per ton of pig iron. If it is per ton of iron ore and if you take the basis per ton of pig iron, then you have to calculate that amount of top gas because it is per ton of iron ore. So, the composition of iron ore you can read from the slide, it is shown over here. The coke which is also an input, it is shown over here. Limestone input, it is also shown. Mind you the limestone contains calcium carbonate as well as magnesium carbonate. And the outputs pig iron and top gas, the composition of pig iron and top gas are given. Now, here one of the condition under which you have to solve the problem is given and that is assume some iron is lost as a fuel in the slag. So, the amount is not known. So, that point is to be known. Now, per ton of pig iron there is 1.82 tons of ore is used. Now, you have to determine amount of coke, composition of slag, volume of blast and perform oxygen balance. A somewhat similar problem I had solved earlier also. So, here I will let us go to the solution of this particular problem. So, again we will take basis as 1 ton of pig iron, 1000 kg pig iron, and on that basis we will make the balance. So, in order to calculate amount of coke, we have to do the balance a carbon from coke plus carbon from calcium carbonate plus carbon from magnesium carbonate. Do not forget because here though the carbon from magnesium carbonate is small, but if you forget that is a mistake. So, that is equal to carbon in pig iron plus carbon in gases. Now, note the amount of top case is 2400 meter cube per ton of iron ore charge. So, the amount of top gas because you will be needing to calculate carbon in gases. So, amount of top gas that would be 4368 meter cube per ton pig iron. Okay. So, the, the balance is very simple and if x is the amount of coke, x is amount of coke, then I can do the balance and the value of a, a this very simple and I have done at various occasions. So, I will not be doing detail here, I will straight away write down x will be equal to 1000.37 kg and that is the amount of coke and that is the answer for the part A. Now, the second part says that you have to calculate the composition of slag and no conditions are given. Now, all that you have to know first of all here from the basics of blast furnace iron making what elements will be in pig iron and what elements will be in the slag. Accordingly, you have to make the balance because you are knowing the amount of pig iron is known to you, amount of iron ore is known to you, amount of limestone is known to you. So, all other all parameters are unknown, only what is not known is that how much amount of an element is going into the slag. So, if you know the amount of an element which is going into slag, you calculate that amount and convert it into oxide. So, you will get now the amount of that oxide in the slag. So, similarly you calculate for all elements which are possibly entering into the slag, 
and at the end of the calculation you sum total it you will get the amount of slack. So, that is what uh, since I have said so I will be in brief in my solution because I will like you to do it say for example, say amount of slag we have to calculate now. So, for first of all let us take SiO2 in slag. SiO2 in slag that will be equal to SiO2 from iron ore plus SiO2 from coke plus SiO2 from limestone Now, since we are making SiO2 balance, so you have to convert silicon of pig iron into its equivalent SiO2 and that you have to subtract it because that silicon is entering into the pig iron and its equivalent amount of SiO2 will not be entering into the slag. So, that will be here minus say Si equivalent to SiO2 in pig iron. SI equivalent to SiO2 in pig iron because pig iron does not contain SiO2, it contains silicon, but since we made an SiO2 balance, so you can write SI equivalent to SiO2 in pig iron or other way around you can do silicon balance. So, whichever way you want to do uh, the, the solution will be the same. So, I am omitting the values you can write down those values. So, SiO2 in slag that will be coming if you substitute all these values that will be coming 297.69 kg. Now, next let us do Al2O3 in slag. Now, on several occasions I have said that Al2O3 cannot be reduced under the conditions of the blast furnace. So, whatever Al2O3 from whatever sources enters into blast furnace, whether from coke, whether from iron ore, whether from limestone, whatever the source, all of it enters into the slag. So, straight away in this particular example, Al2O3 in slag that you can calculate the source is say Al2O3. from ore plus Al2O3 from coke. Coke amount we have just calculated, iron ore amount we know. So, all that you have to sum total and the answer would be Al2O3 in slag that will be equal to 55. 0.6 kg. Now, in such type of problem where you do not know anything about the composition of the slag, then you must know what elements are entering into slag. Now, in earlier problems if you recall their compositions of slag was given. In one of the problem it was said that the slag contains certain percentage of calcium oxide. So, there uh, one quantity was known. Here nothing is said. So, here it is important to know the chemistry of blast furnace iron making, which element goes where, then and then you will be able to calculate the uh, correct value of slag. That is an important thing over here. So, here the basics of blast furnace iron making is important to know. Similarly, MNO in slag. MnO in slag, again you have to make the balance that is equal to MnO from iron ore minus Mn equivalent to MnO of pig iron. 
So, you can substitute the value and that will be coming 13.62 kg. Similarly, there will be in this particular problem, the coke contains FES. If you notice the composition, coke contains FES. So, FES of coke will react with calcium oxide and it will form calcium sulphide. So, the slag will also have calcium sulphide. Say calcium sulphide in slag that can be calculated from the reaction CaO plus FES that is equal to CAS plus FeO because you know coke contains FES. So, the source of calcium sulphide is FES in the coke. So, from the amount of FES and kg mole you can calculate calcium sulphide in slag. So, calcium sulphide in slag that will be equal to 8.18 kg. This can be calculated very easily. Then you have calcium oxide in slag. Now, calcium oxide in the slag that requires a balance to be done which is equal to say CaO from limestone that is the only source from for calcium oxide minus CaO used to produce CAS. So, you can substitute the amount and calcium oxide in slag that is equal to 266.4 kg. Similarly, one can calculate MgO in slag. Remember, source of MgO is only MgCO3. So, that will be 3.57 kg. Then iron in slag. Now, here say iron from Fe 2 O 3 that is the total iron, iron from Fe 2 O 3 plus iron from FES of coke. This is the total input of iron minus iron in big iron. Now, as a result of balance, you have calculated the iron and it has to be converted into FeO. So, then the amount of FeO that will be equal to 97.48 kg. So, with this, the amount of slag that is the sum total of all the oxide that we calculated that will be equal to 742.78 kg. And as regards percentage, you have to calculate percentage, we have percentage SiO2, percent Al2O3, MnO, we have calcium sulphide, we have calcium oxide, we have MgO and we have FeO. They are all will be calculating in percent. So, SiO2 is 40, this is 7.5, 1.8, 1.5, 1.8, 1.8. Calcium oxide 36, MgO is 0 0.5 and FeO is 13.12 percent. So, that is what the answer for amount and composition of slag. So, that is how it can be done. Now, the next part it says you have to calculate the amount of air and then make an oxygen balance and comment on the result. So, in order to calculate the amount of air, amount of air we know the amount of top gas so amount of top gas 
amount of top gas is given that is 4,368 meter cube per ton of pig iron. So, from here we can calculate amount of air because nitrogen is given. Say nitrogen of air will straight away go to into the top gas because it is inert, it does not react. So, from the nitrogen balance one can calculate the amount of air of course, by properly converting into kg moles and so on. So, that will be 4368 into 0 0.5 upon 0 0.79 that will be equal to 3470 meter cube. That is the you have calculated from directly from the top gas. Now, you have to uh, compare it by oxygen balance because one can do the oxygen balance and compare from the two independent sources. Now, one independent source was top gas, another independent is oxygen balance. So, now you know that oxygen in top gas, O2 in top gas is also from O2 from reduction of Fe2O3, O2 from reduction of Fe2O3 because iron is forming. So, iron will be formed by the reduction of Fe2O3. So, what amount of Fe2O3 is reduced to iron and that is entering into the pig iron. So, that oxygen will also be living in the top gas and accordingly that amount of oxygen has to be subtracted in order to know how much amount of oxygen has come from air. Similarly, if you see pig iron, it also contains silicon. So, silicon is also formed from the reduction of SiO2 and accordingly the corresponding amount of oxygen equivalent to silicon in pig iron has been released into the top gas. So, similarly, we can have oxygen from reduction of SiO2. Third, pig iron contains manganese that will also come from the reduction of MnO. So, oxygen from reduction of MnO that you have to calculate this oxygen. Then your calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate are present. Now, the calcium carbonate decomposed to CaO, CO2, O2 is available, MgCO3, MgO and CO2, O2 is available. So, O2 from decomposition of CaCO3, decomposition of CaCO3 as well as O2 from decomposition of MgCO3. So, this is the sources from where oxygen is entering into the system. So, if you subtract the total oxygen from this oxygen which you have calculated due to the reduction of air as oxide, then that much of oxygen remaining has come from air. That is what the uh, philosophy of calculation from the oxygen balance. So, if you sum total, I am writing all these you can calculate. So, accordingly you will have 18.057 kg moles of oxygen available from oxide reduction. from oxide reduction. Now, total amount of oxygen, what will be the total amount of oxygen? That is in the top gas. Say total oxygen in top gas you know the amount of top gas and you can calculate the amount of oxygen in the top gas that will be equal to 50.71 kg moles. How will you do this calculation? 
you know the amount of top gas that is 4368 meter cube per ton of iron you convert into kg mole 25 percent is co you calculate that amount and half will be that of oxygen similarly 13.5 percent is the amount of co2 multiply by the amount of top gas so you go you get the amount of co2 and one mole co2 one mole oxygen some total it that will you will be 50.71 so oxygen from air that will be 50.71 minus 18.057 that will be 32.653 kg moles you see how simple it is once you understand the basics of iron making then the things are simple so the oxygen from air now we have to calculate the volume of blast volume of blast air contains 21 percent oxygen divide by 0.21 multiply by 22.4 so volume of blast from this it is coming 3483 meter cube now in the comment you can only say that there is a small difference of let us say 13 meter cube well which may be due to the rounding off uh, in calculation of the oxygen input from reduction of iron oxide or there could be some error in the composition of of uh, top gas but however the error is not that significant so uh, that is what you can make the comment and that is where the problems on material balance in iron make material and heat balance in iron making i have sufficiently illustrated plus some of the problems i have given to you some of the problems i have given to you for solving even the problem which i have solved i appeal they don't see the solution see yourself or solve yourself and see whether you understood the matter or not now with this now i'll proceed next to the risk diagram so this risk diagram in fact it is a graphical representation graphical representation of materials and heat balance calculation heat balance calculations you know so far what we have done we have done material and heat balance 1000 kg pig iron whatever we have done we need the balance we calculate the amount and so on so forth now if you are looking for a graphical representation of the entire stoichiometry of the blast furnace iron making then a different approach is to be adopted because now what we are looking by doing this uh, graphical representation for a particular blast furnace we can represent the data on a plot with whose help we can predict the performance of uh, blast furnace iron making in the future so the graphical representation is also a very important part of the stoichiometry though it is also a material and heat balance but i thought that this risk diagram which is a graphical representation of material and heat balance in iron making could be a very very useful and slightly different approach is adopted here so i will uh, tell you little bit about the risk diagram now just a little bit two or three lines of introduction in blast furnace iron making iron oxide coke limestone are introduced from top and oxygen from bottom through the two years carbon and oxygen leave the furnace now we are not talking in terms of co or co2 we are telling that carbon and oxygen leave the furnace so i mean through the top gas except carbon dissolved in pig iron pig iron and slag leave through the bottom that is what we know uh, from the operation of the blast furnace now let us make a very simplified approach to see how this material balance can be represented now what we say is that let us take under very simplified condition under 
simplified condition under simplified condition we can obtain an equation to represent the material balance in the form of a diagram. Now, what are those simplified conditions? Now, the first condition is that iron of iron ore, iron of iron ore passes in hot metal, passes in hot metal. That means, we are not considering the oxidation of iron to FeO that we will leave at the later stage. First of all, we have to understand how these diagrams can be constructed. Second, oxygen in the blast furnace enters through air blast and through oxide of iron. So, at the moment what we are considering there is a pure iron oxide burden, no iron is lost in the slag, all iron is entering into the big iron that is a very, very simplified approach just to understand how to make this diagram and then later on we can add the terms over here. Third, carbon enters through coke. The other sources like carbon entering from calcium carbonate, MgCO3, we will keep in our mind for a later stage. So, under this simplified assumption, what we can say now? Now, consider 1 mole of iron. Consider 1 mole of iron. Now, then an I F E that is equal to an O F E that is equal to 1, where an I F E is number of moles of iron, number of moles of iron entering into the system and N O F E number of moles of iron exiting, right. This is what one can, we can also say N I C that is number of moles of carbon entering into the system that should also be equal to number of moles of carbon leaving the system. So, N O C that is equal to number of carbon moles in the top gas are leaving the system. So, that will be equal to number of moles of carbon in the gas plus number of moles of carbon entering into pig iron, entering into pig iron. What I am telling here that input of carbon that is equal to output of carbon, there are two sources in which carbon is being out. One in the top gas and another the carbon dissolved in pig iron that is we will be representing that is equal to C upon F E that is in the M metal. Then we can write down N I C that is equal to N C G plus C upon F E to the power m. Let us say this is our equation number 1. Similarly, we can do oxygen balance. Similarly, we can do O2 balance. 
Now, O2 balance NOI oxygen entering that is equal to NOO oxygen leaving. So, NOO is a number of oxygen leaving the system and NOI moles of oxygen that is entering into the system. So, NOI that is equal to NOB plus O upon Fe x. Now, here I have to say what we are doing here, we are in fact uh, making the atomic oxygen balance because we are writing O by Fe. So, similarly, while calculating number of oxygen in the blast, we have to calculate number of oxygen atom entering to the blast so that it becomes similar to O by Fe. Because suppose if you take Fe2O3 is the oxide, then O by Fe that is equal to 1.5. So, that was the important thing that you should know it over here. So, that is NOB, NOB is the number of oxygen atoms entering through the blast and O by Fe is through the iron oxide. Now, all oxygen which enters into the system, it leaves either a CO or CO2. So, therefore, we can write it now NOI that is equal to NOO that is equal to NC G into O by C G, where I can just put what the notation O by A C X and O by A C G, they are compositions of incoming iron oxide, incoming iron oxide and outgoing gases, outgoing gases. For example, if I have Fe 2 O 3, then O upon F E that is equal to 1.5. Now, little bit about the what is meant by input carbon in this model. Now, the input carbon, there are two parts of the input carbon. One is the active carbon that we will call N C A. The active carbon is that amount of carbon which reacts with oxygen and second is the inactive carbon. Inactive carbon is that carbon which dissolves in pig iron that is C upon F E M. The carbon which is dissolved in iron we call it to be an inactive carbon. So, if I write this is equation 2, then equation 2 can be slightly modified in terms of active carbon because the carbon in the top gas will be that carbon which is reacted with the oxygen of the blast or say oxygen of the iron oxide whatever. Whatever oxygen dissolved in pig iron that will not be available to a top. So, I can write down now this equation say NOB plus O by F E x that is equal to N C A O by C G. So, this equation can be obtained you replace say N O I by N O B plus O by F E x and N O O by N C G into O by C G. Now, N C G replaced by the active carbon. So, we get this is the material balance represented in the form of equation. Now, we have an equation and we can plot it. Now, before I plot it, I will illustrate this use of this equation by a problem. So, let us take now consider calculation of top gas composition. Consider calculation of top gas composition. 
top gas composition, right. We are considering now for an ideal blast furnace which is operating with a mixture of Fe2O3 and coke, pure iron oxide and coke, nothing else. Coke amount is 475 kg per ton, per ton of iron remember, per ton of iron and contains 90 percent carbon, coke contains 90 percent carbon, blast introduces O2 which is equal to 350 kg per 1000 kg of product iron. And iron contains 4.5 percent of carbon, that is pig iron contains 4.5 percent carbon. Now, let us use this equation. Earlier we did material balance, now let us use this equation to find out the solution. Now, the basis, basis I am taking 1000 kg product iron. that makes 17.9 kg moles iron. Now, Fe 2 O 3, in Fe 2 O 3 I have O by Fe that is equal to 3.3 by 2 or 1.5. Now, in the pig iron, it contains 4.5 percent carbon that will be equal to 47 kg. Remember 1000 kg product iron I have taken, so it will not be 45, it will be 47 kg. So, from here C upon F E M which is the inactive carbon I have to represent it or I have to calculate in terms of moles of carbon per moles of iron. So, I have 47 kg, 47 by 12 kg mole of carbon, 47 by 12 into 17.9 that will be the C by F e ratio. So, that will be if I calculate here 47 upon 12 into 17.9. that value will be equal to 0 0.219. This is the inactive carbon, this is this is inactive carbon that we have calculated. Now, coke we are supplying 428 kg, active part of it. So, N C i that will be equal to 35.6 kg mole per ton of iron. Now, I to calculate N C a active carbon that will be equal to N C i minus C upon F e m. So, N C i that will be equal to 35.6 upon 17.9 per mole of iron minus 0 0.219. So, active carbon is 1.77. Now, oxygen from blast, oxygen from blast say N O B 
you have 350 kg. So, 350 mind you O by F e atom. So, I will take divide by 16 that will be equal to 21.9 O per ton of iron. So, N O B that will be if I divide by 17.9 that will be equal to 1.22 N O B per mole of iron. Now, I have the equation N O B into O by F E x that is equal to N C A into O by C G. G means gaseous form. So, if I solve this equation now, I have to put N O B that is equal to 1.22 into 1.5 5 1.77 NCA. So, I can find out O by C ratio in the top gas. So, O by C in the top gas that comes out to be equal to 1.4 and this ratio is equivalent to equivalent to CO and CO2 in top gas. So, now if I want to calculate the volume percent and so on, now I know that XCO2 plus XCO that is equal to 1. So, I can calculate now say XGCO2 that is equal to O by C G minus 1 and X G C O that is equal to 2 minus O by C G. So, from here I can now calculate this is what is known to me. I know the O by C G value. So, I know now N G C O 2 that will be equal to N C A into X G C O 2 and N G C O that is equal to N C A into X G C O. So, from here N G C O 2 I can it comes out to be equal to say from this X G C O 2 and X G C O I can calculate X G C O 2 will be equal to 0 0.54 and X G C O will be 0 0.46. So, I have to multiply this value. So, N G C O 2 N G C O 2 that will be 0 0.96 moles per mole of product iron. per mole of product iron and uh, N G C O that will be 0 0.81 moles per mole of product iron per mole of product iron. Now, I can calculate nitrogen that will be equal to 0 0.79 upon 0 0.22 into 1 half into 1.22 that will be equal to 2.29 moles of nitrogen per mole of product iron. So, top gas composition I can find it now. top gas composition simply I have to add it and I found out the percent CO 20 volume percent CO 2 23.6 on volume percent and nitrogen that is equal to 56. 4 percent of course, on 
volume basis. So, that is how you can say solve this particular problem. Now, the advantage of this way of solving the material balance problem is that we have now an equation before us that represents the material balance. So, once you have the equation here in this particular particular case is an idealized blast furnace operation. The operation can be represented by a by by a, a graph. So, let us see how to do it. So, graphical representation can be made. Graphical representation it is say we have the equation O by F e x minus minus n O b that is equal to n C a O by C g minus 0. Now, this equation is very similar to y 2 minus y 1 that is equal to m x 2 minus x 1. So, the straight line will have slope m, it will pass through the point x 1 y 1 and y 1 y 2. So, I will represent this line for example, if I plot this So, this is 0 that is equal to 1 and that is equal to 2. O by C here you are representing O by C ratio. O by C equal to 1 and O by C equal to 2 that is in the CO2 and that is the CO that is it. Here it is 0. So, this side is O by F e and this side is N O B. Now, somewhere you have this value of N O B. So, O by F e this point we have F e 2 O 3. So, this value is 1.5. This particular point is 0 and minus N O B. Top gas composition I have say somewhere here if I know the top gas composition that I calculated and if I corresponding for example, that is the point then This is here is this point is O by C G O by F E X. Now, this particular say. So, this is called a wrist diagram. So, this particular line is the slope of the plot y 2 minus y 1 that is equal to m into x 2 minus x 1 and the slope it tells you n c a and what is n c a? n c a is the active carbon, n c a is the active carbon that is the carbon which is reacted with the oxygen of the blast. So, that is called the risk diagram. Now, in this particular diagram we have made so many simplifications. We have said F e 2 O 3 oxygen is entering only F e 2 O. Suppose it contain S i O 2 M n O. So, accordingly this O by F e the oxygen entering will be O by F e plus O by S i and whatever the case may be. So, now the later cases will only be addition of certain terms. So, that this diagram it can represent the actual operating conditions. So, in the next lecture we will be discussing further aspects of risk diagram.